Well, hello there, everybody. It is yours truly, the Whiskey Coach, back at it again this evening with you all. Thank you, uh, as always, uh, for joining me for this uh, another whiskey review. Tonight on the docket is none other than our friends from Boone County Distilling Company down in Boone County, Kentucky. Yay! So we have an MGP product on the docket tonight, but it's 2018. It's the second half of 2018. MGP is no longer a bad word if you're a bourbon guy or a bourbon lady. Especially in this case when the distiller, or I should say the bottler, the manufacturer, uh, like Boone County, is 100% transparent with that. I can respect the hell out of that. Um, so yeah, so, so let's, let's kind of jump right into this. Boone County, uh, 1833, 12 year old straight bourbon. Let's talk about the vitals. We have a 12 year old straight bourbon, um, uh, 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 mash bill, 75% corn from MGP, 21% rye, 5% malted barley. Comes in at 45.4 proof, 90.8 Sorry, 45.8 ABV, 90.8 proof. Um, these guys have a 10-year. They have a 12-year-old single barrel, which is highly sought after. They do a bourbon cream. They do a white dog. And they do a white dog rye. I think that's it. Uh, highly, highly respected. One of the favorite, my favorite things about them is their tagline. Made by ghosts. I love that. Marketing people, tip of the hat. So, Made by Ghosts is in reference to basically their history. Uh, they are right on the Ohio River, right on the Kentucky side. Uh, 1833, they initially started making whiskey there. Um, and this, this brand, this label, this image is an homage to that history there on the, uh, on the Ohio River uh, by those uh, really um, descendants or I guess ancestors, not, not ancestors of them, but just, you know, um, immigrants at the time that started making whiskey right there on the river. And uh, again, kind of an homage to them, very much of a throwback bottle design. Nice cork, nice faux tack strip there with the, uh, the gentleman's uh, face on it. Um, really like the design. So with no further ado, let's jump right into this one. I will be uh, honest with you guys again, Kind of like I prefer to do. I have never had anything from Boone County. As much as much whiskey and spirits I've uh, enjoyed over the years. I've seen this one a handful of times. The 12 is new here in Ohio. But, uh, you know, the 10's been around for some time. Other their offerings have, have popped up from time to time. But this will be my first. What a great cork pop that was, by the way. Oh, gosh, that smells delicious. Right upon opening it, it just hits you. Mm, exciting. But yeah, so this is my first time ever trying anything from them. We'll see how they uh, how they did. Oh, price point wise, 55 bucks here in uh, my part of the world, which typically is on the cheaper end because of our, uh, our state regulated pricing, which is always a blessing and a curse. Uh, very traditional uh, in terms of appearance, beautiful amber, kind of like if you melted down a, uh, a penny and liquefied it and put it into a bottle. That's, uh, that's what you're getting there. D nice kind of mahogany, deeper brown than you would expect for a 12 year old. It's amazing how, wow, that nose is absolutely spectacular by the way. I mean, I, I mentioned it right off the top when I opened the bottle, but my goodness, that is beautiful. 12 year old is Kind of right in my sweet spot, personally, for an aged bourbon. Really, really like that age. And this one, uh, the nose is, oh, it's, it's like dark fruit. It is Christmas candy. It's cinnamon. It's uh, like clove honey. Like baked apple pie. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful nose. Just enough alcohol to kind of scratch that itch, so to speak. 
Let's taste this one. Oh, by the way, check out my bourbon shirt. Did you like that? Pick that up on the uh, wife and I's anniversary trip. All right, here we go. Love the mouthfeel. Buttery, oily, love all those things. A little bit of a shorter finish I would expect. Um, in terms of the thickness, not the flavor. The flavor is good. Not catching everything that I did in the nose. A little bit more... Um, Briny, trying to think of the right word. A little bit saltier almost. More leather is coming out. Not, I mean, man, for 12 years, not much oak. And that's neither a good thing or a bad thing. I don't mind some oak. It can certainly be overdone. It can, it cannot be uh, present enough. I think this is, you know, uh, less than expected. But not completely absent to the to the point where it feels like something's lacking. Nice flavor, nice quality. Mm. That's when you start to get some almost like a banana note. And then a little bit towards the end, maybe I was gonna say honey, but not not so much honey. More like a syrup, maybe a little syrupy. A little tinge of bitterness on the back end. Hmm. A little bit of that, um, I don't know if bitter is, the, is fair to say because it, but it's a little sharp. How's that? on the back end, the very back of the palate, on the back of the throat. But in the front, front palate's beautiful. Nice pour. Nice job, my friends. Uh, that is it. Nice experience. Um, I feel like I need to discontinue the portion of my review where I basically talk about whether it's a good value or not. I mean, it's all relative. You know, if you're making seven figures, who the hell cares if it's a $55 bottle or a $20 bottle or a $200 bottle? But I think to most of you guys, you kind of care, or you're, at least many of you express that you, you, you care. Um, I don't know. Um, I think it's about on par with what you would expect to pay for a 12-year-old uh, bur bourbon in today's market. It's available. I mean, how many other 12-year-old bourbons are available at this point? Um, I will give this one a 7.7. .7. So, nice quality pour. Thanks, everybody, again, for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock another one out tonight. I'm feeling good, feeling happy, feeling excited. And I'm going to revisit an old friend. I think the first time I've ever reviewed uh, another offering or another edition, another vintage of a bottle that I've reviewed in the past. So stay tuned. As always, and until next time, which will be very, very soon, class is up.